I go to my mailbox one morning. I don't see nothing. I just check my mail. And I turn around and go. And I hear. And I turn around and there's the chicken out there in the street. I said, oh boy, here we go. Turn around and walk back to my place. Now the chicken's in my yard. Now his neck flares up. And he's doing his thing, and he's trying to jump up at me. Well, I'm not 80 years old, so I move a little bit quicker than my dad, which he come and kind of ambushed my dad, assaulted, whatever you want to call it. So I pick up a stick in the yard, and, and I try to hit it, but the chicken's jumping up at me, and I accidentally knocked it in the head. You know, call it a lucky shot, whatever. The chicken rolled around on the ground right there in my yard up here, and then it and then it just laid down the ditch. I, I didn't want to give, I didn't know to give it a 21 gun salute, CPR, mouth to mouth, you know, or call the chicken ambulance. So, th so I just left it laying there beside the road. The kids told him that I killed his chicken. He grabbed the chicken, was yelling and screaming in my yard. And uh, I just told him leave. But I did tell him after the chicken hit my dad, I said, hey, man, the chicken attacked my dad. Oh, what's the deal? It's just a chicken. What's he going to do? You know, okay, well, look. So it kept terrorizing and, and being aggressive. So I, f I figure I, I, this is my property. I got a right to print life, property, and limb, just like you do. If a man comes attack you and you know kung fu, you're going to hi yah him, right? Okay, simple as that. So I'm defending myself. You know, I was feared for my safety, and the chicken, you know, uh, d died. Chickens are dying every day, people, at churches, Popeyes, and Kentucky Fried Chicken. Really.